going to our very busy You Can Too kitchen. Uh, talk about making a roll for my own back. I mentioned pancakes earlier, so my lovely cameraman has decided that he has to have pancakes today. So I'm going to whip up a few pancakes. Um, talk to a million people and you'll get a million different recipes for pancakes. I'm not saying this is the way to do pancakes, I'm just saying this is how I do pancakes. From this recipe, there are also several others that you can do and I will be doing them. The same mix makes Yorkshire pudding. Uh, you can also make clafferty from it, which is basically a Yorkshire pudding pudding. Um, but I, that will be another video. Right now, I'm just going to make some pancakes. So I've got three standard eggs. As you can see, we use an awful lot of eggs in this house. You just break those into a jug. Right, so that's my three eggs broken into my jug. Just had a look on the side of the jug. This is why I do it in a jug. And I've got 150 mils of eggs in there. So to that, I'm going to add another 150 mils of milk. I'm using full fat milk today. If you want to use skimmed milk or if you want to keep it a bit lighter, if you're on Slimming World, you can try almond milk or something along those lines. I'm going to add one cup, and we'll give you the right measurements for that, of plain flour. I'm in with my whisk, which helps if you switch it on. So we've whipped that down. Now when they say about the consistency of double cream, when you lift it up, you can see it just very quickly leaves a little trail in it, but it disappears very quickly. That's the consistency I'm after. I've got my pan heating here. Always have your pan very hot when you're doing pancakes and things like that. Faithful old fry light. I should be getting advertising for this. <laughs> Let my fry light heat up for a minute. Your first pancake will always be your worst pancake. I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, the first one never comes out brilliantly. The subsequent pancake will be lovely, but the first one, for some reason, just never works out perfectly. Fortunately, we've got enough mixture here for more than one. Right, a little bit in the middle of the pan, and just oh, swirl it around. Trying to do it so you can see. There's not quite enough, just add a tiny bit more. You don't want them overly thick. These aren't scotch pancakes, they're just ordinary pancakes. You can see that's started to go translucent already. It's starting to harden up. It started to cook off and started to set a little bit. It really only takes a minute or two. It's starting to lift. Just have a look underneath. Just lift it up with your knife and you can see that it's starting to go golden. When it is golden, then just turn it. Again, I've got my gas on a medium heat here. You don't want it too hot because you don't want them to cook too quickly, but you want them to be cooked. Okay, so you can see that's starting to go lightly golden brown. Right, I'm taking over the camera here. Normally, I would do my tip it onto a plate trick, but my lovely cameraman has decided that he's actually going to flip it. I don't guarantee I'm going to be able to follow it, but here we go. And he's actually done it. So we're on to the other side. You can see that's lightly golden. Whilst the uh, other side of the pancake's cooking, I've just got a standard lemon here. Some people say microwave it. Some people say roll it on the side. I just squash it between my hands. Give it a good, give it a good squishing, and it actually loosens up the juice inside. So I'm going to cut that in half. I've got a sieve over my bowl to catch all the rubbish that I don't want. Just a standard household fork, kitchen fork, and put it inside. I hope you can see what I'm doing, and just squeeze. I've got my lemon juice in my bowl. My sieve has caught, I'm just squashing that juice out of those bits. And that's probably giving me about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Very yummy. 
that's my first pancake done. Okay, so my pancake's ready to come out of the pan. Just nicely done. Traditionalists in this household, so I'm just gonna put about a dessert, well that probably half a dessert spoon of sugar on there. My lemon juice that I squeezed, just do it in a line across because it will spread out and it will spread as you roll it. Take one side, tuck it in and just roll. I always cut them in half, I always have since my young man was a very young man. And there's your pancake. Once again guys, hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you found it useful. Um, anything you want me to do, just give me a shout, let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, please, please, please. And always remember, you can too. Thank you.